stick them in the comments. Um, cross training for runners, there's kind of four different types, okay? Um, we've got cardio cross training when you're injured, cardio cross training when you're not injured, strength training, and flexibility based training. Rule number one, if you're going to include some cross training, is that it cannot negatively impact your running training because the running training is what gets you to your goal. And um, when you're injured, um, you could substitute based on, you know, if you've got a 45 minute run scheduled on your training plan, it changes to a 45 minute bike and you just match the intensity. So you substitute minute for minute based on intensity zone. Um, when you're not injured, um, it's definitely good to include some non-impact cardio cross-training like running, swimming, elliptical, that kind of stuff. You've got to be mindful of where you put it in the week and you've got to be mindful of which muscle groups it's working, you know, something upper body dominant like swimming versus something lower body dominant like biking. Strength training, in my opinion, is the most um, often neglected a super beneficial form of cross training for runners and um, it should be included at least once a week in the off season in the in the season sorry and at least twice a week off season and it should be very heavy general flexibility and other control based mobility based work is the lowest priority cross training that you can do as a runner and if you're not doing the other things mentioned on the list you probably shouldn't be doing that unless 